Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Taff, welcome back to Farm Sim 15. Now let's just grab, jump into Sebastian and let's un, unhire him. Now I'm going to do a little experiment with this little field. So what we're going to do, we've ploughed half of it and I've got uh, Mark over there cultivating the other half of it. Um, so this is what I'm going to plan to do, well we're going to get him to cultivate all of it but this half of the field has been ploughed as you can see. Uh, this half has only been cultivated. Uh, we're going to let him finish up so he can cultivate the, the ploughed area as well. So what we'll do when we plant on here, we'll take a combine and we'll take it down that edge first and we'll see what yield we get with ploughing and cultivating and then we'll come, oh hang on, traffic jam and then we'll come down the other side and then we'll take a comparison on how much yield we get without ploughing uh, to see if ploughing is required in the game. Um, that's just a little experiment uh, we can do. Now let's just pull him um, up here and we can drop the plough there. Uh, we'll get the, the uh, fertiliser on here, lickety split, and then but by that time uh, the other tractor should have completed the seeding of field 38. Uh, and so we can get that done as well and then we'll stick them all on the big field stick two of them on the big field and we'll use a tractor ourselves and we'll go and have a look at the rest of the farm things we can do we'll speed up time so it grows a bit quicker right let's go We're probably too close to that bank once again that's not too bad now we'll get all this done lovely and pull that there Perfect. This is my kind of job. It's really quick. Don't reverse, don't reverse. Oh, I knew he was going to reverse. That was close. That was close. Uh, so the muck spread all the way over. All the fertilizers spread all the way over there. So let's just get this last bit done. Okay, we've still got 68%. Right, let's just bring the tractor out of the way so it's not going to snag the other tractor up. And let's have a look at this field. Now, this field looks okay. This has been this has been worked. I think they could probably seed straight onto this one. Um, one of the things I noticed, you can jump straight onto the cab roof. I know you could do that in Farm Sim, but that was, that was a super, super human leap. Look at that. Woo! Straight on the roof. Unbelievable. Okay, look at all the tyre marks there, that looks fantastic. So while he's cultivating that, let's go and check on our mate with the cedar. And he has almost finished this field, field. look at that. And he's still got 92%. So I think we'll get canola in all the fields, and then we'll sell it, and we'll see how much cash we can generate. And hopefully we can uh, upgrade our equipment, buy some animals, and get some forest. Well, I think we'll put it forestry, we may be able to get the cheaper side of forestry done. I'll, I'll take your votes on what you want to see, if you want to see forestry or um, a bit more improvement in the equipment, if you, some animals, I'm pretty sure most of you will go, forestry, get the woodwork stuff done, because that's what, you know, that's that's the new billing on this game, so everyone wants to see that. Right, so he's just finishing off here, brilliant. That's looking great. Now, that's an interesting thing. Let's just jump out of there so we can let him go on his merry way. See, that is that is lovely. If you actually get ahead and just watch you go past, it's a lovely... It looks amazing. I think so, anyway. Um, so, anyway, let's have a look at... Oh, wheat prices are going up. Blooming typical, isn't it? As long as canola stays... Oh, we could sell it actually. Wheat prices have gone up. 336 in the grain elevator. Um, 345 at the windmill. So all the prices we got. And. Okay, so 222, 336 at the grain elevator. At uh, windmill. Three, um, 345. So I think we might sell our grain or our wheat grain at the windmill. Um, let's have a quick look. Do we have a map on here? 
what we've got we've got growth and fruit type same old um, statistics that's fine okay we got a reset tool there which is fine and there's our statistics okay let's have a look at the map then so the windmill is where is the windmill the windmill is to the east of the map okay where there's an egg sale point as well so where interestingly would the sheep and cows be are oh, the sheep farm is that the sheep farm up in the north or the top right so the northeast north northeast corner of the map near field four that looks like where the sheep are they sheep sheep and cows maybe okay so that's where the animal farm is up there okay that's interesting so it's a split farm and this field is now done one field field 38 completed right let's get this back to the other fields oh look at this look at this tire that's filthy look at it absolutely ingrained with filth oops but it looks amazing oh look at our muddy footprints everywhere oh what we like never mind Okay, we've got 92% still full of this uh, seed, which is great. Oh, we're really front light. I forgot about that. Okay, there is old Sebastian Plow. Oh, no. Let's mark it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady on, boy. Steady on. Almost clipped us. Um, right, let's get this grain seeded. Fantastic. Another field well on its way to being worked. So this field over here, I think we can just sow and spray or spread is the actual correct terminology so let's quickly get out of the way of that tractor okay we're just okay that was close I think three tractors is the uh, the key number I know we sold one but I think we're okay with just the three this is a big old field so we get this one done with canola as well and we'll be going the exhaust I love the exhaust it's so much better than the 2013 Right, let's go. We'll get this cultivate uh, this um, fertilized, and then we'll get the cedar on here, and then we are good to go. Just have to speed up time, wait for the uh, the crops to grow. Got seven grand in the bank still. Uh, once we've done this, we're going to do a quick pop with the uh, with the tipper trailer, and we'll go and sell. We'll go and sell the. Uh, the wheat from the silo down at the windmill bring in a bit more cash because the uh, the prices are on the up not quite as mucky in here but um, still mucky loving that you see it we can't see our mirrors are actually blocked with the Amazon which is fine. Let's come to the end. The fantastic. Okay, we still got almost just over half full, so that's good stuff. Let's take this back down to the um, and the ploughing looks to have been completed as well. Great. So we'll take this back down to the farm. Put it away. See this storage area looks fine. We'll use this. Can we get in there, do you reckon? Yeah, of course we can. Clonk, we'll drop it down. Fantastic, right. Let's go and get the, the tractor with the plow on the back. Whoa, try and get run over by the cedar. It's the actual tractor with the cultivator on the back, of course. Right. The dudes. The dutz is very mucky, which is fine. So we had two dutes and two hurlymans. Obviously, we sold a hurlyman. Uh, we'll probably just um, 
park our these tools outside here. Hopefully the rain will wash them a little bit. Right, where's that tipper trailer? It's right in front of me. So we're going to collect the trailer, get the wheat, and we'll go over and sell that. See how much money we can make. If it's going to be 300 and something, and we've got 5,000 litres, that's going to be about 15 grand, isn't it? Unless my maths has failed me. Which it probably has, because I'm not the best at maths. But let's uh, bring this over to the chute. Uh, is that over? Maybe that's not quite over. Right, that looks good, doesn't it? Right, now, what do we have to do here? Obviously we need to select what we want to get out. Uh, how do we do, how do we do that? How do we do that? Um, let's just bring up the automatic help and see if it tells us. Uh, no, it doesn't. Interesting. How do we get our wheat out? Start filling. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Select a silo. So we've only got wheat. That's fine. Okay, that makes sense. Perfect sense. Start. So that's how you do that. You have to do it as a refill. And then you see it's un evenly spread which is quite good well let's just switch the tool tuck because I didn't want that on okay back great so now we've got our wheat let's look at the map and see where we need to go right so we're going we need to take a left hand turn down past the bio heating uh, straight down there great so let's keep an eye on the grain see if it sloshes about at all and um, the trailer is quite slow to move so it suggests it's, you know, it's got a weight on it and I'm hoping that if I hit the brakes I know the grain doesn't move about that's interesting but it's, I really like the fact that it doesn't pour level like it used to they've actually done something about that that's nice right now we need to take this dirt track I think straight over sorry a little bit of weight behind me, I couldn't stop on a dime. Okay, should we down here? To the ag store. Although that did call it the that's the shop and the biogas heating plant is on the far side. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Oh look at the uh, the gradient on these these fields, that's quite bad. It track the tipping maybe here in our grubby cab right so it should be straight ahead can you see a windmill oh there it is here <laughs> right in front of you you idiot says the windmill just there beautiful little windmill let's pull in here where is the dump point now there it is Right, let's just do a, one last check to make sure it hasn't changed at all. Windmill is um, three, four, five, and it's still the best value. Okay, great. The windmill it is. Side tipper, so we'll bring it on there. We get out and have a look at the grain tip. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? Brilliant. Let's go and have a look at the windmill because we're here and why not? Oh, that's an odd looking windmill. Look at that. Gently blowing. Yeah, it's nice. Anyway, um, we didn't earn anywhere near as much as we thought we would. We've got eight grand now. Wow, that was disappointing. That was disappointing. Oh well, anyway, it's been sold. And we've got some, got our cash for it, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Right, 
I will see you back at the base as soon as I get this back, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. We're coming back into the farmyard. Let's plonk the, uh, the tipper trailer back there. Great. Okay. Let's just jump over the fence and uh, and see how the guys are getting on without us. I say guys, we've just got the cedar going now. Uh, and he's almost finished this feed field as well. Great stuff. So we'll leave him to it. Um... Now let's get. We've got eight grand. Then let's let's buy. Oh God, what can we buy with eight grand? Is it's rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, we can't buy any harvesting. We can't really buy a front loader. Let's have a look at the front loader. See if we can get one for our. So we've got the stall. Front loader is used to stack various goods. That is suitable for. No, we don't have that. That's it. Do we have any? Deutsch ones. No, we don't. Okay, so we need a new Holland or uh, the other make to get one of those. Dollies, obviously, for big trailers. Sewing machines. Wow, beet harvesters. We can't afford any of this. It's really depressing. Really depressing. Um, let's have a look at plows to see if it says anything. Plow can. You can prepare your fields. Uh, for the next sowing and creating new fields. Okay, We're creating new fields. Yeah, it's got a valid point there, but let's we'll have to test that. Cultivate preferred field for next sowing. That's fine. Um, mm, loading wagon. I guess we could buy a loading wagon. No, we can't. <laughs> Scrap that idea. Uh, I was thinking we could pick up the straw and then sell it, but no, we can't. We haven't got the money for that. Um, get some animals, but then we we need to feed them. So let's get some chickens. Maintenance one pound a day. Let's buy animal has been purchased. Wow, do I have to buy it one at a time? So is that two ch two chickens for 140 quid? Let's have a look. Yeah, literally two chickens. We can't select how many you want to buy. We've got to do that. Okay, let's get a few more chickens in. Um, buy, buy. And should we get some sheep, or the sheep at the other end of the farm, so um, or the other end of the map? So we'll stay away from sheep for now. So we've got eight grand still, and we've bought a fair few chickens. I don't know actually how many I clicked on, but we can do a quick check. Uh, chickens, we've got six of them. So that's pretty cool. Oh, you can literally just jump over the fence. I just realised that. Let's have a look at the animation of the chickens. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, it's just a. So it's quite nice. Look, the detail on the cockerel. Stand still. Okay, that didn't come from the cockles direction. So the chickens, look, very nicely modelled. Look at that, the eye and everything. Nicely animated as well. Okay, it just looped its animation a little bit there, but apart from that, that's pretty cool. This one, this one's on a mission to get us. I know, I'm quite impressed with that. The animal models are quite nice. That one's scratching around. Oh, it's glitching, I'm not quite sure which, but no, that's nice. I like that. Okay, how's he doing with the old seeding? He is almost done. Almost done. Great. Um, ooh, do we have... Let's have a look in the shop again. One last thing. Let's have a look at mowers. 
Let's see if we got that little sit on mower. No, we don't. Eight grand. Oh, we can't even afford that. Jeez. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, we can buy a chainsaw because they're only a thousand pounds, but uh, we can't plant any trees. We need the planter. We need this to plant trees before we can cut them down, uh, which is a bit of a bind. Um, bailing. Wow, we so can't afford anything in there, so let's uh, not bother looking. Right, okay, so basically we're skin people. Um, this is a problem when you go on hard. Money isn't easy to come by. Um, so we're going to have to literally wait for him to do this. And once he's done that, we can then uh, speed up time, get the harvesting in, and we'll be good to go. Right, while we're waiting, let's just pick up the plough and bring the plough in. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a stickler for keeping the farmyard clean. I like to keep a nice clean farmyard. So let's just get this plow and the price with uh, of scrap metal and the amount of thefts that come off farmyards. We might as well. Oh wow! I'm just, I'm just I can't do it from cow, but I'm just watching the little the exhaust cover. That's nice. I hadn't noticed that until now. Alright, let's go and plonk this next to the cultivator. Boom! And we're good to go. What else should we do? Do we have anything left in any other... No, we've got nothing. We can't sell anything. We could sell a tractor or a combine, but that's really... Won't get, won't get as far at all. Um, no, we've got nothing, have we? We have got nothing. We are struggling. Whoever le left us this farm, they left it because it was in a bad state. Oh, it's going to... There you go. That was a qu quick physics test. And you can see that was, it, it shows that it's quite heavy because it didn't bounce, although we'd have probably wrecked it. Um, really is nicely modelled. Okay, well I'm going to end the episode short there because there's not, not a lot else we can do. we just got to wait for old Sebastian there to um, finish doing the business on the field. So I'll get, I'll leave him to do it off screen. Uh, get this field that is. And join me back next time where probably the uh, magically time will have passed and these crops would have grown and no doubt will be in horrendous debt by that time. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a bit of a weird one because we're just literally waiting around. But... The important thing is we are going to be doing, this field is going to be doing the science test. So we're going to have, um, this is ploughed and cultivated and seeded. And this side over here is cultivated and seeded. So that's going to be the thing. We'll just do maybe two, one run either way. So we get two runs at the field either side. And we'll calculate the, the yield that that gives. And we can see whether or not ploughing makes a jot of difference. Then, next time, we'll do... Um, we'll do some testing, I think, with the the fertilizer as well. See what difference fertilizing makes to the actual yield itself. So there you go. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And join me next time for more Farm Sim. So I'll see you later.